A recent study says that our wireless connection is just as important to us as almost uh, food. If it's that important to us, why do we know so little about it? In this quick video, I'm going to give you some quick tips so you'll understand the alphabet soup of 802.11 wireless. When we first started out on the internet in the mid-80s, I remember 300 baud modems. 300 baud modems transferred data at 300 bits per second. We needed wireless, so in 1999, we had the first wireless standard, which was 802.11a. This operated in the 5 gigahertz band and sent a whopping 54 megabits per second across the airwaves. Now, megabits per second means a million bits per second versus a bit per second, so it was quite an improvement. The 5 gigahertz band didn't reach very far, so the same year they introduced 802.11b, which was in the 2.4 gigahertz band. The 2.4 gigahertz band travels further, and it's generally what you find when you go to McDonald's or Starbucks. It goes a long distance, but it's more cluttered by interference, let's say from microwaves or from pho mobile phones, things like that. So it wasn't just perfect, and it was also slower. Then 802.11g arrived in 2003, and this supported both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands. This gave the user the choice of 5 gigahertz, which doesn't travel as far, but is faster, uh, but it doesn't get through walls quickly, uh, very easily. So if you want these faster data rates, you have to be closer to your router. Um, you also get fewer disconnects. The 802.11 standard improved over A through G by giving 600 megabits per second on both bands and added the 40 megahertz channels and MIMO, which is MIMO, multiple input, multiple outfit, output, which means you would get a direct link between the source of the signal and your device. Um, before MIMO, it was, you know, just kind of a donut. It broadcast everywhere. The new MIMO technology in the new 802.11ac enables both bands and theoretically can give up to 7 gigabytes of data per second, which is pretty fast. Let me show you. The old MIMO, which was just, you know, the old wireless was just a straight line. It would send from your router and go to your device and then to the next device, and somebody could be watching a video or somebody could be playing a game, and generally that caused buffering. The new standard sends out beams to direct link to your device, one to your router, one from your router to your TV, one to the gaming device, and another one to your laptop, so you have a clearer, crisper signal. Now, to benefit from AC, you need to be using AC-compatible routers. Duh. So you have to go out and buy a new router. On my blog, I have an explanation of the things you need to look for in a new router. So get a new router, 802.11ac, and it only works with compatible devices. Now, none of my laptops had the AC in them. They were all N. So I went and I got this AC USB adapter. You can see it's USB 3.0. It's blue, very fast. And by plugging this into my laptop and by using the latest router, I can get screamingly fast internet. I hope this explained a little bit about the development of Wi-Fi. Stay tuned. I'm going to have a new video coming out soon that's going to tell you what's all that stuff in your router. Bye-bye.